Hi guys, um, so I'd just like to raise the issue of transmission lines. I've asked about it before and I got a, a, a response uh, in questions I noticed that it's estimated at about four to 10,000 kilometres of new transmission lines will have to be built by 2030. My question was, are those uh, transmission lines subject to a regulated rate of return, i.e. do the builders of those transmission lines get to charge a regulated rate of return? And if so, what's the rate of return? Simon Duggan, Deputy Secretary for the Energy Group. Um, Senator, yes, transmission lines uh, are subject to regulation in Australia. They share the characteristics of a natural monopoly and therefore um, the appropriate governance framework around them is, is regulation. As part of that regulatory framework, uh, in order to ensure that consumers uh, are able to access transmission at a, at a reasonable price, but also there's a reasonable return on capital, there is a regulated rate of return. It's in operation. That's administered by the Australian Energy Regulator, who's actually appearing a little bit later on. So I'm very happy to answer any questions in general, but if you've got anything very specific... Uh, you don't happen to know what the rate of return is, do you? Uh, so there's various roughly. elements to it. I don't know whether anyone at the table has that at hand. Uh, Paul Johnson, um, Electricity Division, Senator. Um, the rate of return varies according to the, um, the situations in the financial markets. In recent times, it's been approximately um, approaching 6%. About 6%. 6 to 7%. 6 to 7%. The, okay. the uh, AER, and they will be happy to take you through this later today, is currently uh, looking at the uh, rate of return instrument that it uh, approves or determines every four years and a decision on that is expected uh, later this month. OK. So with the uh, Albanese government's $20 billion rewiring the fund um, program, how will that work in terms of regulated rate of return as well? So if, if these transmission line builders get to borrow that money, what rate will they borrow that money at? So the rate of it, um, where a transmission project is being funded through rewiring the nation, the Clean Energy Finance Corporation will enter into a, a contract with that company. It will negotiate the terms of that loan. Um, that, uh, consistent with government policy, that will be at a concessional rate. Now, in order for that concessional rate to be passed through to consumers, we are proposing to uh, submit a rule change to the Australian Energy Market Commission later this year to ensure that that happens. Right. OK. Because that's my concern, is that on the one hand, they're borrowing from the government at, say, 3 to 4 per cent, and then, you know, effectively charging 7 per cent and possibly even more with higher interest rates, so that they're going to get almost like a risk-free margin of 3 to 4 per cent on 20 to, 20 to somewhere between 20 to 100 billion, depending on who you read, um, cost of new transmission lines. Yes. So that is the purpose of the rule change, to make sure that doesn't happen? and that the benefits do flow as government policy intends to consumers. OK, so, so basically they won't be able to charge any more than the rate that they're being, having to pay government? No, because the Australian Energy Market... Uh, sorry, the rule change will give the AER the power to vary that. The regulated rate of return or the interest no, not rate? The no, not the regulated rate of return. That will remain uh, consistent, but it will uh, uh, vary the amount that either goes into the regulated asset base or the maximum annual uh, revenue that the company is able to charge. OK. And so back to these four to 10,000 kilometres that need to be built by 2030, do we have an estimate on the cost of building those transmission lines? Um, there is a cost uh, set out in the Australian Energy Market Operators Integrated System Plan from last year. Uh, the projects there in net present value terms in the optimal development path, I think from memory, uh, came to, in net present value terms, approximately $12.7 billion. OK, so if, if it's $12.7 billion, so that's net present value, that's not... Yeah. So that's it's about $15 billion, I think, for $15 the... $15 billion? Um, yeah. Right, so why is that $5 billion less than the $20 billion in the, 20, in the rewiring Australia fund? Well, the, for a start, the, um, the ISP is only looking at the East Coast. It's only looking at the national electricity sure. market, and yeah. the rewiring the nation is an um, Australia-wide program. Yep. And uh, that 15 billion is just the sort of immediate projects that need to be uh, delivered over the next uh, five to, or probably by the end of 2030 or so. Whereas rewiring the nation will be on an ongoing basis. Okay, cheers, thank you. Um, now, uh, does the same rules apply to generation and storage in terms of guaranteed rate of returns or is it just no. transmission? No, they operate in a competitive market. Right, okay.
Authorised G. Rennick, LMP Chermside.